a five minute or so grammar class. And I know the word grammar is not very beloved, <laughs> but in Sanskrit it is chanted. It is chantable. So uh, don't ask anything in your mind even until we finish chanting. Sahtaute, 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 Tuam Yuvam Yuyam, Tuam Yuvam Yuyam, Tuam Yuvam Yuyam, Tuam Yuvam Yuyam, Aham Avam Vayam, Aham Avam Vayam, Aham Avam Vayam. Aham avam vayam. Try to get it. Sahtaute, sahtaute. Tuam yuvam yuyam, tuam yuvam yuyam. Aham avam vayam, aham avam vayam. These words mean he, they both, they are. There's a she also. To make it easier for beginners, we left out the she and the it. You want nine forms <laughs> that you can have, but right now we made him the representative for the third person. He, they both, they all. Second person, you, you both, you all. First person, I, we both, we all. These are real words, these are pronouns. Now, associated with those are endings that are going to be added to a verb. Let us chant. Ati ataha anti ati ataha anti ati ataha anti ati ataha anti asi ataha atha asi ataha atha asi ataha atha asi ataha atha Ami avayama, ami avayama, ami avayama, ami avayama. Try together. Ati ataha anti, ati ataha anti, asi ataha atha, asi ataha atha, ami avayama. Ami Yamaha. Now what's missing is a verb base to which you will add these endings. Suppose vad to speak. And according to the alphabet we just had, V becomes V in Sanskrit when you want to spell. A becomes A. It was A. English made it A. <laughs> So V A D will be V A uh, and D will become ta. Say V A uh, da. V A uh, da. Remove the spaces. Vad. Vad. To speak. Vadati vadataha vadanti. Vadati vadataha vadanti. Vadasi vadataha vadatha. Vadasi vadataha vadatha. Vadami vadavaha vadamaha Vadami vadavaha vadamaha Together Vadati vadataha vadanti Vadasi vadataha vadatha Vadami vadavaha vadamaha And in Sanskrit these are already real sentences. A sentence is a statement, a meaningful statement in any language, and it must have a subject and a verb. A verb is what's happening, and the subject is the one who does it or is it, and you have these choices. But vadati already includes he or she or it speaks. Vadata, they both speak again. They're both Men or women or flowers also speak <laughs> neuter, masculine, feminine, neuter. They're all hidden in here. Here comes an example. Sa vadati, sa vadati, he speaks. If I want to say she speaks, 
Saloma Vadati. Saloma And it speaks Tat Vadati. Tat Vadati. For now we keep it simple. Sa Vadati. Sa Vadati. He speaks. Tau Vadata. Tau Vadata. They both speak. Te Vadanti. Te Vadanti. They all speak. Now we will say the English together. Tvam Vadasi. Tvam Vadasi. You speak. Yuvam Vadata. Yuvam Vadata. You both speak. Yuyam Vadata. Yuyam Vadata. You all speak. Aham Vadani, Aham Vadani, I speak, I speak. Avam Vadavaha, Avam Vadavaha, we both speak. Vayam Vadamaha, Vayam Vadamaha, we all speak. And we all speak together again. Vadati, Vadatta, Vadanti, Vadasi, Vadatha, Vadatha. Vadami, Vadavaha, Vadamaha. What about uh, another verb in English? To eat. Kad. Say ka a da kad. Ka a da kad. To eat. Kadati, kadata, kadanti. Kadati, kadata, kadanti, kadasi, kadata, kadata, kadasi, kadata, kadata, kadami, kadava, kadama, kadami, kadava, kadama, and all together. Sa, kadati, he eats, tau, kadata, they both eat. Te kadanti, they all eat. Tuam kadasi, you eat. Yuvam kadata, you both eat. Yuvam kadata, you all eat. Aham kadami, I eat. Avam kadavaha, we both eat. Vayam kadamaha, we all eat. Okay, what about jeev to live? So spelling is phonetic, that we call that phonetic. Same sound will have the same writing also in Sanskrit, and the same writing will be pronounced the same way every time. So jeev, just space out the sounds. It's a j, j. and an e, e, and a v. v. J, e, v, jeev. J, e, v, jeev. To live, to be alive, mm. and easy to chant it. Jivati, jivata, jivanti, jivasi, jivata, jivata, jivami, jivama, jivama. Let everybody live now together. <laughs> Sa jivati, he lives. Tau jivata, they both live. Te jivanti, they all live. Now let me take the feminine just to show you. It's not written here. Sa jivati, sa jivati, she lives. Te jivata, te jivata, they both live. Two ladies, two girls, whoever. And ta jivanti, ta jivanti, they all are alive. So, more differentiation in Sanskrit, but easy chanting. Tvam jivasi, together. Tvam jivasi, you live. Yuvam jivata, you both live. Yuyam jivata, you all live. Aham jivami, I live. Avam jivava, we both live. Vayam jivama, we all live. So second and third person, and first person in Sanskrit, it's the highest person, so they put it last. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no difference in gender. I'm looking at you, yeah, girl, female, jivasi, tuam, jivasi, 
I am speaking as a woman, aham, jivami, and uh, if I'm looking at a guy, also, tvam jivasi, if somebody else is speaking, a man, they'll also say, aham, jivami, no problem here, just third person problem. Yeah. Why is it third person first? Well, we should ask, why is it last in English? Because Sanskrit was there before English, for sure. That much everybody agrees. So they were coming from outside, coming home, ending in the I, the I am, highest person. And the absolute majority of people in the universe, they're all third person. Whoever is not you or me is third person. So many explanations you can have. You see the dual. You will only use it when there are two, no more than two, no less than two. You don't need it all the time. We'll end with one verb, bhav. Say bhav. 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 Bh is one sound in Sanskrit. It's, it's a you know, special sound. And then a, ah, and then bh. It means to be, to become. Bhavati, bhavata, bhavanti, bhavasi, bhavata, bhavata. Bhavami, bhavava, bhavama. <clears throat> and you know what you're chanting. He is, they both are, they all are. You are, you both are, you all are. I am, we both are, we all are. Short form. Bhavati, bhavata, bhavanati, bhavasi, bhavata, bhavata. Bhavami, bhavava, bhavama. Om Shanti. That was one mini grammar lesson. <laughs>